everybody, how's it going? My name is by Felicia 319 um, I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to do like one of those get to know me kind of things, but as you may have already guessed from uh, previous, like just my three previous vlogs, I ramble. It's kind of, you know, I, I have ADHD, uh, <laughs> severe ADHD in fact, um, and so it is so easy for me to just go bouncing all over the place. The bunny trails are real, people. Oh my god. I mean, squirrel doesn't even begin to cover it. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do sort of a get-to-know-me type quiz or survey or whatever. And I happened to come across one just a little bit ago. Previous searches did not really yield any results I liked or whatever. They were, they were all like more of the professional get to know your coworkers kind of thing. It's like, well, that's not really what I'm going for. Um, so I tried searching under get to know me quiz. Um, and I found this one. So I'm going to go through all these questions and I'm still more than happy to answer, uh, questions that people throw at me. If they, you know, things that they'd like to know about me or whatever. Um, but I figured this would be a good start. So, um, Question number one, uh, was I named after anyone? Not to my knowledge, no. Um, my mom actually wanted to name me Stacy Michelle, and my daddy is the one who kind of went out and named me Felicia. So, um, sorry, I, um, my dad's kind of difficult to talk about. He actually passed away a couple of years ago, um, Gosh, uh, in fact, this, uh, later on this year in November, it'll make it three years. Um, end of November, beginning of December, right around there. <sighs> anyway, no, I was not named after anybody, and I'm sorry, I did not mean to make that take a depressing turn. Um, when was the last time I cried? Truthfully? Yesterday. Do you like, do I like my handwriting? Do you like your handwriting? I guess I could just read these verbatim instead of, blah, blah, blah. do you like your handwriting? Um, it's okay. I don't, uh, usually I'm in, when I'm writing, when I'm writing by hand, because that's where handwriting would come from, <laughs> I'm usually in such a hurry to jot things down. Um, it kind of looks like, well, not like, you know, childish chicken scratch, but it's just, it's just kind of one of those, fuck it, it's there, who gives a shit? I, I've seen some people with handwriting, it's like, oh, I wish I had the patience to write like that, and I can write really nice uh, if I actually make myself slow down, but fuck it. Uh, what is your favorite lunch meat? I don't know if I've got a favorite lunch meat. I don't really eat, you know, sandwiches like that that much. Uh, certainly not bologna. I guess roast beef. Um, do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have three, and they are amazing people. Um, I will brag more about my kids in another video because that's gonna, that's one of those how much time do you have kind of things. Uh, if you were another person, would you be friends with you? Honest to God, if I had seen this question five years ago or even th three years ago, my answer probably would have been hell no. Um, and again, that's stuff I will get more into um, in other vlogs. Um, there, there's so much that I could talk about in that regard. But nowadays, um, after working so hard on myself, because um, for a while, no, I was not even remotely the kind of person I wanted to be. Not only did I have no self-esteem, um, sort of a, I mean, that is a, byproduct of abuse, but even before then, I didn't really have much of a self-esteem, and uh, not even just about the way I look, but me as a person, that was the thing, I just, I didn't like myself, and for a while, I was the kind of person I hated, um, and again, it's a long story, but, um, after finally being able to get help and kind of figure out more of, I guess, I guess the way to put it would be what's wrong with me because I don't know how else to put it. 
you know, in regards to like my mental health issues, like I already knew that I had depression. Um, uh, maybe about a year before I was finally able to actually start therapy, I figured out with the help of a friend, um, that, uh, had helped me and my kids a few years ago, um, because he dealt with anxiety and it got to a point where he actually recognized a lot of those symptoms in me, especially when I had a particularly agonizingly strong anxiety attack. Um, you know, I'd had one panic attack previously in my life, uh, shortly after I gave birth to my eldest, um, because I ended up, I guess, having a gallbladder attack and that sparred, sparred, I don't think so, that provoked a panic attack where, you know, the chest pains, can't breathe. It was awful, but I'd never really known that I dealt with anxiety. And after getting into, um, uh, when I was finally able to get into therapy and also start seeing a psychiatrist to see about getting on meds, she was the one who educated me on the fact that, first of all, severe ADHD, well, she said ADHD and anxiety go, actually tend to go hand in hand because, you know, lack of filter, overwhelm, everything is overwhelming, yada, yada, yada. Um, but I've worked really hard on myself the past few years, and I know I'm giving a really long ass answer to question six. I'm sorry. Again, God knows I can ramble, but fuck it. Um, yeah. I actually, yes, nowadays I could say if I were another person, I would be friends with me. <laughs> um, I'm certainly not perfect by any stretch, but I, when I was able to finally get to a point where I could legitimately say that I like myself, honest to God's, it was literally one of the best days of my life. Finally knowing what it felt like to have a healthy self-esteem um, and to know that I'd worked hard enough to earn being able to like myself. Like myself as a person, like myself as a mom, because I'm not going to lie, a few years ago, especially right off the heels of uh, the end of my, f my former relationship um, uh, with the uh, narcissist I mentioned in a previous vlog. Um, guys, I was a wreck. I was a mess of a person. I, quite frankly, I was verbally abusive to my kids. I'm not talking like name calling or cutting them down and, or insulting them. Not like that. It's just that I didn't know how to handle so much. And I, I was constantly yelling at them. It was awful. And it's a long story. And again, I can get into more details of that in another vlog, but just sort of like the little nutshell version which I understand it's a pretty big freaking nut for, you know, as it were. <laughs> Keep the juvenile jokes to yourself. I've already got it running in my head. <laughs> um, it, it took a lot of time and effort to break those awful habits and go back to being the mom I started out being and the mom I always wanted to be. And that was my first big hurdle in um, taking those steps to find, rediscover who I actually was. Cause when you were the narcissist or even with a sociopath, uh, the way they fuck with your head and break you down, it's like you, you literally do just sort of lose all sight of who you once were. And it's, it becomes easy to believe that you're every bit the awful person that they make you think that they, that they try to get you to believe that you are. Uh, quite frankly, my ex narcissist was way worse at that than my ex sociopath. Um, and I didn't even think that was possible, but you know, live and learn. I can at least appreciate that. Anyway, gods, moving on. Do you use sarcasm a lot? Okay, I may not be native Irish or Scottish, but I'm Irish and Scottish. What the fuck do you think? Sarcas sarcasm is like my native language. <laughs> uh, do you still have your tonsils? Why do you want to know? No, I'm just teasing. Yes, actually, I do still have my tonsils. Would, would you bungee jump? On the first thought, I would just pretty much like to give that a huge screaming, hell no. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I mean, I, 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 I like the idea of going skydiving because I know that the hardest part is the jump. But for some reason, the thought of at least when you go skydiving, you're good several thousand feet above the earth and 
you have time to adjust and enjoy the ride. Whereas with a bungee jump, you're pretty much, what? I don't know, however many feet off the ground and you get to watch the ground just come plummeting at your face. So, no, I, my initial reaction to that is, fuck no, fuck you, fuck that, fuck off. What is my favorite cereal? I'll have you know right now, I am 34 years old, I'll be 35 in May, and I still love cereal like a freaking child. Asking me what my favorite cereal is? Shit, how much time do you got? Um, I suppose uh, one of my top absolute favorites is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, especially whenever I get to uh, smoke a bowl. Because, yes, whenever I can, uh, I, I, I am a stoner. It helps so much. And one of my favorite things to eat after smoking a bowl, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is amazing. Okay. Um, do you untie your shoes when you take them off? Yes. It's blasphemy to not untie your shoes before you take them off. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to put your shoes back on when you've got them tied? And mind you, I'm one of those people. I like my shoes to be tied tight. It doesn't feel right if they're loose. They feel like they're going to fall off my feet. And if I wanted to wear shoes that were going to fall off my feet or whatever, I'd wear sandals, which I can't wait till summer. I miss having, I miss sandal season. But, you know, shoes that require laces, they have to be tight, which means... They need to be untied when I take them off so that I don't have to, like, use a freaking crowbar to squeeze my feckin' foot into there again. Okay. Moving on. Uh, do you think you are strong? Okay. Are we talking physically or mentally or emotionally? Whatever. As a person, I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. Um... I'll flat out say it takes a certain amount of strength to be able to look at yourself objectively, recognize your own faults, and to work like hell to improve yourself as a person, especially when you don't like who you are. Um, I'll, I, uh, physically strong, uh, yeah, stronger than the, what, what I guess one might consider, physically a bit stronger than what might consider the average female, I suppose. Um, rather solid boned. Um, I have talked the fact I've talked about the fact that I'm Irish and Scottish, um, but I'm also uh, Sioux Indian, German, and possibly Cherokee. Um, I don't know which one of those factors has anything to do with. I kind of suspect maybe the Native American. Uh, it's just that I'm so freaking pale that you can't really tell unless you kind of know what to look for. And about the only way you could tell that I'm Native American is the cheekbones specifically and also the fact my, my brown eyes which were actually brown from the day of my birth uh and the reason I say all that I think uh, I'm I'm more solid than I guess what would be considered average um I could be at like 145 pounds and look like I'm 130 um so very solid boned and um yeah that seems to but in the grand scheme of things, I would like to be physically, I would like to be stronger. Um, I would like to actually uh, eventually f get into some sort of exercise program where I can start toning up. And I'm not, I don't really want to bulk up. I just like to be uh, toned and, you know, lean and all that good shit. Um, emotionally, mental health wise, I mean, I guess it's a given even for people that don't go through mental health issues or shit like that. But there's definitely days where I don't feel so strong. Um, you know, depression spirals or anxiety attacks, anxiety spikes, uh, often of which those tend to lead to hellacious migraines. <laughs> um, but at the very least, I guess all I can really say is I'm still here. So I guess that counts for something in regards to those, I don't know. What is your favorite ice cream? Um, I'm a total sucker for Ben and Jerry's and I have a couple of favorites with that one, but I would have to say my very most favorite flavor of ice cream is Ben and Jerry's uh, cinnamon bun ice cream. I, as you might've noticed by now, I kind of have a thing for cinnamon. Uh, what is the first thing you notice about people? I guess it's a really good question. Excuse me. I don't know. 
I, uh, I guess I'm kind of drawing a blank. I mean, for one thing, I'm a hardcore introvert. And even when I'm out in public, I just tend to kind of keep my eyes averted. It's almost like, you know, like you ever notice that if you take a dog to a vet, it, they, they try to hide their head under your arm. It's almost like this whole, if I can't see them, they can't see me. I guess you could say it's sort of like that when I'm out. Um, but I guess if I'm really sitting down to people watch, I guess I just more pay attention to how people interact with each other, how people treat each other. Um, I can't really say any particular, it's not like, oh, well, I check out a person's ass first or whatever. Or, oh my God, their eyes or their smile or whatever. Uh, I tend to notice people for, you know, who they are and as it were, like how they are. Um, before I really start paying a whole lot of attention to physical features. I'm not quite sure how else to put it. Um, red or pink? Neither. I mean, they're okay. They're fine colors. They're just not really my druther. Uh, my favorite color is purple, actually. I'm, and uh, that's my top favorite, but uh, I love colors that are like jewel toned, like emerald, amethyst, sapphire. I love those deep um, those just, those deep colors are beautiful. Anyway, um, what is the least favorite thing about myself? <sighs> um, physically, I'll be straight up honest, my teeth. Um, and that's another long story, but the short, the short version of it is I had three kids in under four years and, uh, didn't really have, uh, access to dental care because, you know, low income, was on Medicaid and at that point in time, I mean, that's still pretty common even now where Medicaid doesn't really cover a whole lot where dental health is concerned. But back then, yeah, about the only thing they would do at all was like emergency extractions, absolutely nothing for preventative health, which sucks. Um, and so, yeah, having three kids in under four years, it wasn't on purpose, but I wouldn't trade my kiddos for anything. Um, I, I am really self-conscious about my teeth. And it's not that I really give a fuck or worry about what other people are going to think of my teeth. I've already had people make their comments. I, I even had one person uh, ask me if I did meth. And it's like, uh, actually, no. I'm quite content only ever just smoking weed. The rest of that shit scares the crap out of me. I mean, Christ, I'm ADHD enough as it is, thanks. Um... It just, it got, I can't even begin to go into the amounts of hell no. But yeah, physically, not fond of my teeth. And that is something I do hope to, um, you know, be able to finally get fixed at some point. Because, ugh. Uh, as a person, what is the least favorite thing about myself? You know, I would still have to say my temper, but it goes deeper than that. I think the thing I like least about myself is that I still need to learn how to pick my battles. Um, I'm a very passionate and opinionated person, and I'll be flat out honest, sometimes I'm a straight up cunt. And not in the way that the word was originally meant. Um, I mean, you know, just the whole, eh, you know. Um, but I, I let, I still sometimes let things get to me too much. There's I have that, I guess, you know, it seems like very, a lot of people that are, you know, Irish or Scottish or whatever, uh, have that thing where it's being allergic to stupid people. And granted, I know it's not just an Irish or Scottish thing. I get that, but come on. Um, I don't have patience for bullshit and there's so much bullshit. And there's so many times where I let myself get drawn into, um, where I let myself get drawn into drama, even if it has like nothing to do with me. It could be something I see on Facebook where, um, where somebody might be a right royal douche to somebody over a difference of opinion or whatever. And not to say that I've not done that. I would be a liar if I tried to claim that. Um, I just, <sighs> God knows I could ramble on this for quite a while, but the, but yeah, the thing I, I guess I like least about myself is, again, I just, the fact that I, I still need to learn to pick my battles better. And I have gotten better at it, but 
God, that's one of those things where I'm still a work in progress. Okay, um, who do I miss the most? I miss several people. Um, terribly and for different reasons. Like, um, I miss my best friend. Um, she, uh, lives several states away. Um, I actually got to see her a few months ago for her wedding. I got to be her maid of honor. Um, but I, I miss, you know, getting to be close to her where, you know, we could even try to visit each other a lot more often. I miss my mom. Uh, she's all the way across the country. I miss my dad. Um, that's a long story right there. Because uh, I didn't get to see... The last time I got to see my dad was when I was 18 and he came out to my high school graduation. Um, and uh, that that's just yet another long fucking story. Uh, I miss a lot of people. Uh, let's see. Paul McKenna Technique. Okay, I'm going to skip over that one because that's just not fucking relevant. What color shoes am I wearing? I'm wearing black. I've got um, my favorite pair of shoes. I'm just going to bring one up. I have a pair of combat boots type things, and I love the hell out of them. These are my th these are my boots. Or like, well, it's one of my boots. Har har. I'm a sucker for boots and sandals. And yeah, the color of shoes I'm wearing, black, obviously. What was the last thing I ate? Um... Uh, Jack Link's, uh, Tender Bites. I love beef jerky, but unfortunately, with my teeth, I don't really get to enjoy it that often. So whenever I find, uh, stuff like that, where it's actually tender enough that it's not gonna make me feel like I'm about to break all the teeth out of my head. Yeah, love that kind of shit. Uh, what are you listening to right now? Um, the sound of my voice. Talking. Rambling, even. Uh... Favorite smells. Oh, wait, excuse me. Uh, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? Well, either purple or green. Um, like the color of my, uh, my birthstone. Because, you know, being born in May, my birthstone is emerald. And I love my birthstone. Favorite smells. Okay. God, that's a very broad topic. Like what? Perfume or body spray or lotion or food? I don't know. Um... Okay, in nature, one of my most favorite smells, aside from, oh, okay, like, springtime, um, the smell of lilacs. Lilacs are my most favorite flower in the whole wide world. They're amazing and followed very closely by honeysuckle. Um, they both have that, just that light, airy, I don't know, I guess you could say almost like innocent sweetness about them. Um, also in nature, I love the smell of rain. Um, personal scent-wise, I guess, um... I'm a total sucker for Bath and Body Works. Um, I love their aromatherapy lines. I about freaked, though, when I went to Bath and Body Works a couple months ago because um, they they had this uh, lotion for a while for the longest damn time, like, since I was, like, 19 or... Tw no, I was 18 because I was... That was the first year I was living in Fort Worth. Um, yeah, their lavender vanilla aromatherapy. Oh, my God. That's just... Oh, God, I love it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things. I love, I love several different incenses. So yeah, there's a lot of smells I love. Uh, who was the last person you talked to on the phone? Um, my landlord, or landlady, rather. The gal who runs the office through which I rent. Um, mountain hideaway or beach house? I refuse to pick. I both, okay? I, I'm... A mountain girl at heart. Um, again, born and raised in Colorado. Love the mountains so much. But gods, I also adore the ocean. And it's been so long since I last got to see the ocean. Favorite sports to watch? Um, American football. Uh, go Broncos. Even though Peyton Manning kind of ruined them for me. That's a topic for another time. I don't even know if I'll ever go there because fuck it. Um, hockey, especially. I miss going to hockey games. Um, my ex-husband actually got me hooked on hockey and, uh, mentioned in a previous vlog, my Uber team was the Oklahoma city blazers. Uh, but when I met my ex-husband, he told me about, you know, like they'd been around for years and then they were disbanded. And then several years later, however many, I don't remember, 
uh, they were brought back and he got me introduced to them. He introduced me to going to hockey and I was addicted from then on, but God, it's been so long. Actually, the last time I got to go to a hockey game, uh, was for my eldest son's, uh, fourth birthday. And it was so much fun. And then I cried when my team got disbanded again the following year. And then they brought in the Oklahoma City Barons. Well, that's okay. That's one less thing for me to miss about Oklahoma City because I hated living in Oklahoma. Fuck that place. Again, if you're from Oklahoma and you like it there, good for you. But uh, fuck Oklahoma sucks. Most miserable years of my life there. Again, topic for another time. Uh, hair color. Uh, red. But in order to actually have it like, okay, if I don't, if I don't dye my hair, my hair just kind of looks sort of like a dingy dishwater blonde until I get out in the sun. And then you see some of the reddish highlights. Like I actually do have red hair. It's just subtle. So if I want to actually have the red hair that I feel matches me, then I have to dye it. But red, uh, eye color, brown. Do I wear contacts? <sighs> I've never tried. I kind of have a thing about sticking my finger in my eye but maybe eventually I'll try it because one thing that kind of bugs me about doing YouTube videos uh, what well, okay excuse me one thing that kind of bugs me about wearing glasses is when I'm doing YouTube videos or whatever and the glare from the screen just sort of blocks out uh you know blocks out being able to actually see my eyes and that annoys the crap out of me so maybe eventually I'll try contacts favorite food oof so many uh chinese Italian, um, you know, burgers or whatever, um, chips or fries. And yes, I've actually started to, uh, uh, like in the past year or so, I've taken to calling them chips. I just like it better than calling them fries. I don't know. Um, cheesecake. Love cheesecake. Oh my God. Uh, also, uh, my green chili. I make some freaking kick-ass green chili. Definitely one of my favorite foods, if I don't say so myself. Um, scary movies or happy endings? Both. I adore horror movies, especially um, especially Asian horror. Um, or even, like, good remakes of Asian horror. Like, um, The Ring was one of the first horror movies I went to see in theaters. Um, I kind of had to figure out what I liked. I, I ended up finding out I detest slasher films. I don't like horror films that deal with psychotic people. Because honest to gods, people scare me far more than the paranormal does. And I've had actually several experiences regarding the paranormal of my own. And again, topic for another video. Um, but I, I adore paranormal horror movies. Um, like The Ring, The Grudge. Um, Darkness Falls was a lot of fun to see in theaters, but it's it was one of those that it was better to see it in theaters because when you saw it on, you know, just the regular TV, it, it was a lot, it was diminished, you know, uh, the grudge is one of my most favorite horror movies ever. Um, I just, again, I love, I love Asian horror. They are so incredibly creative. Although there are some that I refuse to watch. Like I can't watch Akasha. Um, my ex-husband and I actually, um, at one point went through a whole spate of just, just watching as much Asian horror as we could get our hands on. And we found some fantastic ones. Like there was this one Korean horror movie called Phone. That one was really good. But uh, he started watching Akasha and it got to, I don't remember what part it was, but he told me about some of the stuff that I missed and it made me go, yeah, I'm glad I hopped on the nope train, so to speak. Um, yeah, Akasha was just like, holy crap. Um, but I also love movies with happy endings. You know, I just you know, got a bit of balance. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. Last movie I watched, uh, Thor Ragnarok a few days ago. Um, got to have a family movie night with my kiddos. Um, we had wanted to go see Thor Ragnarok for my eldest's uh, birthday. He just turned 13. Holy shit, where does the time go? He just turned thir 13 this past November. And we wanted to go see Thor Ragnarok, but unfortunately we just didn't have the money to do so. So <sighs> better late than never, but we finally got to watch Thor Ragnarok. And oh my god, I loved it. Um... Anyway, let's see. What color shirt am I wearing? Well, behold. Um, I love this shirt, by the way. It's like Slimer um, with like, you know, the little thing down here. I got it in a Geek Fuel box. 
Um, I used to get, I had a Geek Fuel subscription for a short while. I only had it for a few months before I was like, okay, there's a little too much hit or miss with this. And as much as it was costing, I was like, I can't keep spending money on something that I'm not guaranteed to love every single time. Um, so let's see. Summer or winter? God. Honestly, I love all the seasons. Um, I think my absolute favorites are spring and fall because the abundance of color. Um, but I also adore winter. I love the snow. Although I'm not a fan of having to shovel it. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and I love the summer when it's, you know, I when it's nice and warm. And where I live, it's actually rather temperate. So it's not even oppressive heat during the summer. It can still get pretty stuffy. But it's not so hot that one requires an air conditioner. So that's nice. But yeah, I love being able to wear my tank tops and shorts. Well, actually, I hardly ever wear shorts because, quite frankly, I'm generally too lazy to shave my legs. And yes, I know I'm, I, 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 yes, I am a feminist, but at the same time, I just, I like having smooth skin. And, but at the same time, more often than not, I'm just too fucking lazy. So yeah, tank tops, sandals, all that good shit. Uh, I love all the seasons for, for, you know, individual reasons. Uh, hugs or kisses. Why do I have to pick just one? Or are we talking the Hershey's kinds? Um, in that regard, I prefer the hugs over the kisses because I love white chocolate. Strength training or cardio. Oh, excuse me. Favorite dessert. Cheesecake. Uh, ice cream. Um, yeah. Thought that pretty well sums it up. Those are my two uber favorites. Okay, now strength training or cardio. Uh, personally, uh, I, I had a friend who um, was a personal trainer and she was involved. Like, she even did bodybuilding and she was amazing. Oh, my God. Uh, now, again, just from, well, not again, but just from my name you can, and the banner on my channel, you can pretty well tell that I'm bisexual. And it's not that I actually, like, straight up had a crush on her because, you know, she was, she's married. And, well, somebody I used to be friends with, I mean, she, uh, anyway, but holy shit, people. Uh, Haley looked amazeballs. Like, damn. Like, I don't want to get quite as bulked up as she got, but at the same time, holy shit, she looked amazing. But, uh, anyway, learning from her. Um, yeah, no, strength training. I'd rather, for me, strength training more than cardio. Um, with, I, I would say my, with my bone density, I'm not good at cardio anyway. Like, I'm not a fast runner. I've never been a fast runner, even though I like the idea of, you know, jogging for exercise. Um, it just, no. I'd rather be able to um, do strength training, not just because, for one thing, uh, the more muscle you pack on, the the faster your metabolism and the the better your metabolism works. And plus, yeah, I'd like to be I'd like to be stronger and more toned and stuff. Eventually, um, computer or television? Honestly, computer. I mean, I don't even really have TV. I, I had cable for a while until it got to the point where it's like, yeah, no, I can't afford it. So let's just dial it back to internet and phone and then we'll just you know watch stuff on netflix or hulu um what book are you reading right now um i'm reading one of larissa eon's books uh, from her demonica series i love her books she is an amazing writer and yes i am into uh paranormal romance of uh, as one of my most favorite genres for just leisure reading um especially because you know one of those with a damn good plot. Dude, I'm all there. Uh, and Larissa Yone does amazing, amazing plots overall. Um, I love the way she writes her characters, the sarcasm, the the, the dialogue. I mean, just, it, they're great. Okay. Um, what is on my mouse pad? I don't have a mouse pad. Next question. Favorite sound? That's such an ambiguous question. What is my favorite sound? Well, okay, one that comes to mind is the sound of rain on my roof. Um, I love just the sound of the sound of rain, the sound of water. Uh, it's such a calming element. Um, and that's one of those that 
I, I love to turn to if I'm feeling particularly like stressed or anxious, it can kind of help calm, calm me down or whatever. Um, but then again, there's also music. Music is another one of my favorite sounds. When even then, that just goes into a whole nother broad topic. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for me to get into because I've already been doing this for like 35 minutes. So, so Rolling Stones or Beatles? Honestly, I've never really been into either one of them. Um, I mean, when I was growing up, uh, the one radio station in the little town where I grew up in, it used to play oldies. Um, like everything from like the 50s on up through like the early 90s. No, not through the early 90s. They, they started gradually bringing that in. So up through the 70s. Excuse me. I don't know why I said two decades later than what it actually was. Uh, but yeah, they would play Beatles and Rolling Stones and stuff. And I enjoy their music, but... I've never been one of those ah! fangirls over them. So what is the farthest you have been from home? Uh, well, I guess the farthest I've ever been from home was uh, when I was 13. Um, my folks and I went on a trip to Florida. Uh, it was my first time going to Florida. And then um, we kind of rounded it out where we went to the Bahamas which is also the only time I can think of that I've ever been out of the, out of the United States. <sighs> God, I want to do way more traveling than that. Um, so yeah, I guess a uh, Grand Bahama Island would be the answer for that one. Uh, do you have a special talent? I make my kids laugh. I don't care if anybody else, like, I don't, I don't care if anybody else thinks I'm not funny. If I can make my kids laugh, that's, like, one of the best things in the world. Um, I've had people tell me I'm, a, I'm really good at writing when I actually manage to write. And I do love to write, but it's just, well, another topic for another time. It's just, you know, writer's block. That sums it up right there. But for, like, special talent... Well, if I have one, I haven't found it yet, I don't think. Uh, where was I born? Denver, Colorado. What color is my house? Uh, it's a rather generic color. I mean, white. Overall, like dingy white. I don't know. What color is my car? Blue. da ba dee da ba die Do you like answering 50 questions? Sure. Okay. And that was it. All right. So um, <laughs> that took long enough. It took me f almost 40 minutes to get through 50 questions. So that basically averages out to about taking two minutes per question <laughs> overall, um, I think. Then again, why am I trying to do head math when I am on no sleep? Probably not a good idea. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you would hit the like button if you liked it, I would really appreciate it. Uh, by all means, leave comments, questions, uh, suggestions, ideas, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Uh, and thank you again for taking the time to watch. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!